Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the iconic movie Jurassic Park, which was released in 1993. Not only will we explore how the actors have changed since then, but we'll also be sharing some interesting facts about both the characters in the film and their real-life counterparts. Jurassic Park is a science fiction action movie directed by the legendary Steven Spielberg. Produced by Kathleen Kennedy and Gerald R. Molin, this blockbuster hit was the first film in the Jurassic Park franchise and the opening installment of the original trilogy. Based on Michael Crichton's 1990 novel of the same name, the screenplay was written by Crichton himself and David Cope. Set on the fictional island of Isla Nublar, just off the coast of Costa Rica in Central America, the movie follows wealthy businessman John Hammond and his team of genetic scientists as they create a wildlife park of extinct dinosaurs. However, when the park's power facilities and security measures are sabotaged, a small group of visitors and Hammond's grandchildren must fight to stay alive and escape the dangerous island. Sam Neill played Dr. Alan Grant in Jurassic Park. When the 93 adaption was being made, several actors were considered for the role, but it was ultimately given to Neil, and it turned out to be one of his most iconic performances. At the time of filming Jurassic Park, Sam Neill was 47 years old. Today, he's 75 years old and still going strong. In addition to his acting career, Neil is also the owner of the winery called Two Paddocks, showcasing his diverse interests. Interestingly, when he was in his early 20s, Neil fathered a son named Andrew, who was later adopted by someone else. In 2014, the father and son reunited, and according to Neil, their meeting was much more grown up than he had anticipated. Next up, Bradley Daryl Wong, who played the role of Henry Wu. At the time of filming Jurassic Park, Wong was 33 years old, but now he's 62 and still going strong. In addition to his acting career, Wong is also the host of the HLN medical documentary series Something's Killing Me with B.D. Wong. He's also done extensive voiceover work and stage acting, and even voiced Captain Lee Shang in Disney's animated film Mulan. Wong is openly gay and was in a long-term relationship with talent agent Richie Jackson from 1998 to 2004. They co-parent their son along with Jackson's husband, Jordan Roth. Next up, we have Samuel Jackson, who played the role of Arnold in the movie. Jackson is an American producer and prolific actor, having appeared in over 100 films throughout his career. At the time of filming Jurassic Park, he was 45 years old, but now he's 73. Interestingly, in 1969, Jackson and several other students held members of the Morehouse College Board of Trustees, including Martin Luther King Sr., hostage on the campus demanding reform in the school's curriculum and governance. The college eventually agreed to change its policy, but Jackson was charged with and eventually convicted of unlawful confinement, a second-degree felony. Despite this, he felt empowered by his involvement in the movement. Lauren Dern played the role of Ellie Sattler in the movie. At the time of filming, Dern was just 26 years old. Today, she's 55. In 2017, Dern made an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she revealed that she had been sexually assaulted at the age of 14. Despite this, Dern has gone on to have an incredibly successful career in the film industry, receiving numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, a BAFTA Award, and five Golden Globe Awards. Next up, we have Rob Peck, who played the role of Robert Muldoon. At the time of filming, Peck was 48 years old. He attended Leeds Modern School and then graduated from Leeds College of Art before starting his professional acting career on stage. Peck acted for the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theater and also starred in over 20 television dramas. Unfortunately, Peck passed away in London at the age of 53 after a long battle with cancer. He was survived by his wife, Jill Baker, as well as two daughters and a son. Despite his untimely death, Peck left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and is remembered fondly by fans of Jurassic Park and beyond. Wayne Knight played the role of Nedry in the movie. Knight was 38 years old at the time of filming and today is 67. He's best known for his role as the frenetic mailman Newman in the classic TV series Seinfeld. In 2020, Knight appeared in a political advertisement 
that examined ethical breaches of mail workers in the U.S. and the lack of support they received from the government. The advertisement was in support of the Democratic Party and anti-Trump. Next, we have Miguel Sandoval, who played the role of Rastagno. Sandoval was 42 years old at the time of filming, and now he's 71. He began working as a professional actor in 1975 and has appeared in numerous television shows, often in recurring roles. He's also directed several episodes of the TV show Medium, including the third season episode titled Whatever Possessed You. Sandoval and his wife Linda have a grown daughter, Olivia, who portrayed his character's daughter on Medium. Cameron Thor played the role of Johnson in the movie. Thor was 33 at the time of filming and is now an actor, filmmaker, and acting coach. Interestingly, he had originally auditioned for the role of Ian Malcolm, but the part eventually went to Jeff Goldblum. While his character was a major part of the sequel novel, The Lost World, the character was left out of the film adaption. Unfortunately, in 2016, Thor was sentenced to six years in prison for sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl. He was released from prison in June 2019. Ariana Richards played the role of Lex Murphy in the film. Richards is an actress, artist, and producer. At the time of filming, she was just 16 years old, but now she's 43 and still making waves in the entertainment industry. In 2014, she was voted number 98 on VH1's 100 Greatest Child Stars. Although Richards won several Young Artist Awards for her acting as a child, as an adult, she's focused primarily on her art career. Next, we have Whit Hertford, who played a volunteer boy in the movie. Hertford is an American theater director, writer, and actor. At the time of filming, he was 15 years old, but now he's 44 and still pursuing his passion for the arts. In 2014, he received Best Actor Awards for his work as geneticist Jesse Darden in the science fiction independent feature film The Perfect 46. Hertford has also studied in Moscow at the Russian Academy of Theater Arts. Next up, we have Joffrey Clifford Brown, who played the role of the gatekeeper. Brown was 48 years old at the time of filming and was not only an award-winning stuntman and actor, but also a former pitcher in Major League Baseball who played for the Chicago Cubs. Unfortunately, Brown passed away on January 11, 2014 at the age of 68 due to complications related to a cancer treatment, just 11 days before his 69th birthday. Despite his untimely death, Brown left a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry and is remembered fondly. Next up, Richard Attenborough, who played the role of the eccentric John Hammond developer. At the time of shooting, he was 70 years old. In December 2004, his elder daughter, Jane Holland, as well as her daughter, Lucy, and her mother-in-law, also named Jane, were killed in the tsunami caused by the Indian Ocean earthquake. Attenborough was an avid collector of Pablo Picasso's ceramics, and more than 100 items from his collection went on display at the New Walk Museum and Art Gallery in Leicester in 2007 in memory of his family members lost in the tsunami. For the last five years of his life, he was confined to a wheelchair after a bad fall due to a stroke. He passed away on August 24, 2014, one week shy of his 91st birthday. Now we have Jeff Goldblum, who played the role of Dr. Ian Malcolm in the movie. At the time of filming, he was 41, but now he's 70 and still making waves in Hollywood. Goldblum has starred in some of the highest grossing films of his era, such as Jurassic Park and Independence Day, as well as their sequels. He's been married three times, first to Patricia Gall from 1980 to 1985, and then to Gina Davis from 87 to 91, and currently to Emily Livingston, whom he married in 2014. Livingston is a Canadian Olympic rhythmic gymnast, 30 years his junior. Next up, we have Joseph Francis Mazzello, who played the role of Tim Murphy in the movie. At the time of the filming, he was just 10 years old, but now he's 39 and still pursuing his passion for acting. Mazzello went to the Catholic school Our Lady of Lords and is an alumnus of the University of Southern California, entering the USC School of Cinematic Arts in 2001, following a recommendation letter from none other than director Steven Spielberg. Mazzello paid for school with his salary from a small appearance in the Lost World Jurassic Park, which he jokingly referred to as his graduation present from Spielberg. 
Mazzello's first film role in the 2000s was in 2001's Wooly Boys, and in 2002, he made his television debut on Providence. And finally, we have Martin Victor Ferrero, who played the role of Donald Gennaro. At the time of filming, Ferrero was 46, and now he's 75. In 1979, he moved to Los Angeles to pursue acting and quickly landed roles in film and television. Ferrero is widely remembered for his role as the ill-fated lawyer Donald Gennaro in Jurassic Park, but he's also appeared as a regular in the 1980s TV series Miami Vice. On the show, he played the comic relief character Izzy Moreno, an informant with a malapropism-infused Cuban accent and involved in a variety of outlandish business ventures. Ferrero initially appeared in the pilot episode as assassin Trini DeSoto. He also guest starred on an episode of Cheers, playing the role of an Italian waiter. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends on social media. Hey, we'd greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to leave a comment with the name of the movies and actors you'd like to see in our next videos. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.